Here we go, the strength trials, file six. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about my deadlift training and the progression it's made over the last couple of years, what I think has worked, um, and what I think I can rule out because of certain um, trial and errors that I've, I've been through. So we're going to start with, you know, I started training, I believe, in 2010 after a, a pretty solid uh, collegiate football career. Um, I looked for something to you know, spark my interest, keep that competitive edge inside me. And uh, my brothers were into powerlifting, so I kind of jumped on board with them and, and, you know, got bit by the iron bug, as it says in Power Unlimited. But uh, so my deadlift training, we started out with a conjugate style training. We did a lot of box squats. Um, we were working with accommodating resistance. And I worked my way up to uh, a 540-pound deadlift at a 198-pound weight class. It, it was, and I did that sumo. Um, I was always very explosive that first couple years. I think that comes from the athletic background uh, and also the box squats. So I kind of hung on that a little bit. Um, just like any new lifter, though, you, you kind of get not bored with your program, but you want to try other things. You want to see what else is out there. So then we moved into the cube from Brandon Lilly. Um, the cube, though, is a is basically a conjugate style of training. He rotates rep day, a max effort day, and a uh, repetition day, what he calls his bodybuilding day. But um, I enjoyed the cube. I did, and I actually worked up to a 600-pound pool, uh, around 230 pounds, um, which was big, conventional. And um, you know, I finally got everything moving. The deadlift was was where it needed to be to be a little bit competitive. Um, and then I ended up hurting myself. So I hurt my back twice. Um, before, I'm sorry, and, and while we were doing the conjugate, I ended up pulling 605 and multiply also. Or um, the cube, but I did multiply too. I, I pulled 605. But, um, but yeah, then I got hurt. So I got hurt twice. The low back became a really big issue of mine. Positioning was a big uh, sticking point. Mobility. Uh, making sure that I wasn't setting myself up for failure before the pulls even started. So I looked for a program that would kind of build me, build my pyramid up, my base up. Uh, you know, found 531, Jim Wendler. Um, I have a ton of videos on the channel. You can look back at those. Um, so I was repping out, you know, lighter weights, kind of set my training maxes low, built my way all the way back up to that previous PR of 600 pounds um, about two years ago in the 242 weight class. Felt good, felt strong, felt like my back was finally and no longer going to be an issue for me. Um, well, I was wrong. I ended up hurting it again, um, aggregated it again, and, I, and that's when I started, you know, going back and forth in my head that I had to find something different. Um, I'm not going to be able to continue to train if I keep training the way I am. I don't know. I figured that reps maybe put me in bad positions, it really beat up the back too much, or that the back just wasn't strong enough to handle that type of volume. So, looking back on my deadlift training, I realized that I was pretty much my strongest when I was doing my conjugate style training, and I, and I always felt better too. I was never injured. Uh, my knees and hips weren't, my hip flexors were all, you know, they weren't beat up, and I was very explosive. So, my training now, my deadlift has never felt better than it has now. Um, I think the reason being is is that I'm really not deadlifting too often i mean i do my speed pulls on wednesdays and i do some type of deadlifting on saturdays but it's usually every other week i'm pushing it heavy so normally i'll do like a sumo deadlift one week for reps like three sets of five or five sets of five whether that's with bands or chains or stiff leg or whatever it is and then i'll follow that up with a heavy conventional deadlift um and this week was 545 for a triple off some blocks and I've never handled 545 for three reps. And two weeks ago, I handled 500 with 80 pound of chain. And uh, two weeks before that, I didn't think I was gonna, you know, be in this position so soon. I think the the box squats have been a a very big point in this. Being able to train that fast switch pop off the box, and um, especially focusing on the glutes and hamstrings and the lower back, the reverse hypers, glute ham raises. Um, you know, sumo stiff legs, you name it, band of good mornings. Um, these things are all coming to uh, a head, and it's really being a very productive deadlift training style that I'm working on. And Louie always says to train the deadlift, don't deadlift. And I always used to think he was nuts. Like, how the hell are you going to train the deadlift without deadlifting? You have to feel the weight in your hands. 
Well, I'm starting to believe that if you can just dial your form in through speed pools and and you know some lighter percentage works as you work up a max effort, dial your speed work in, work on that form, and then when the weight's heavy enough, you're really training the deadlift through your box squat. So if you box squat twice a week, you are hitting deadlift training. You know, train wide with a wide stance and your conventional deadlift will go up. That can that is very true for me. Um, I didn't think it would be. I always called bullshit on that. But um, he's right. Uh, I don't train the deadlift every week. Now, this is just for me. Obviously, there are guys out there that can deadlift twice a week through that you know, 65 to 95% range and get stronger. But for me, I think I found uh, my ticket to continued progress in the deadlift. And that's going to be uh, working on things that I know is going to raise my deadlift, trying not to beat myself up too much through standard deadlifts from the floor. And... You know, just continue to mix it up and put, you know, put training into those weak points. What muscles move the deadlift? It's the glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back. So if you want a big deadlift, you got to fire those three muscle groups up. Um, thanks for watching this week. It is my birthday. I am 29 years old today. 9-11, I'm the bright spot. But, um, yeah, it is. So I hope everybody had a nice week. Enjoy this deadlift here. 545 for three. Stay safe, stay strong, and I'll see you next week.